All right, the fifth exercise in our progression, the fifth and final exercise in this progression for fixing an asymmetrical pull-up doesn't look like a pull-up at all. It doesn't even look like an upper body exercise. Um, this is single leg exercise, and I think single leg exercise is probably the best and most underutilized tool, unless you're me, it's probably the most overutilized tool for fixing asymmetrical problems. That is because we walk around and we have normal motions and doing things on one leg help us find those normal motions easier. In the case of the asymmetrical pull-up, we talked about the problem. The problem's the rib cage. I mean, it could be something, you know, you could have like an osteophyte in your actual shoulder joint. You're not gonna fix that unless you go get surgery. Um, and you would be a special case, right? But for most people who have this little shrugging thing going on, you have an asymmetrical rib cage. And we needed to find a way to flex it down. We needed to find a way to uh, side bend it in. And we needed to find a way to turn it back to the left. Remember, we talked about that over the last, what, eight videos? Um, now, what I'm trying to get you to do is find it really, really quickly when you're doing your lower body exercise. So the trunk, the torso is designed just to transfer force. It needs to be as fluid as possible so that I can breathe in a bunch of different positions and so that I can take that force from the ground that my feet make and transfer it up to my arms. So if I'm throwing a baseball, right, all the force comes from my feet. It doesn't, it's not like my arm muscles are really strong and that makes me throw a ball really fast. There's an element of that for transferring the force so that I don't lose any of it in this midsection. But the biggest thing is one, I, I need to be able to push into the ground with my foot. And two, I need to be kind of floppy in the midsection so that all of that force in the ground can make it all the way up to the ball. And it's the same idea with all this other stuff. So my my trunk, my rib cage, my torso is designed to be loosey goosey. And we got to teach it to be that way. And we've, if you've done, you haven't just skipped ahead and you did all of the exercises that I wanted you to do, then you should have the ability to achieve those positions. All we need to do now is give them to you in harder and harder scenarios. And one of the hardest or two of the hardest scenarios that I can think of is a uh, step up, a single leg step up, or a single leg Romanian deadlift. Both of these exercises have like this flight phase where you're only balancing yourself on one leg. And what that affords us is the ability to kind of manipulate the rest of our body. So the theme that we've been talking about is scrunching the air out of the left side. And you got to be really diligent about that. Uh, and that's why I'm giving you so many different exercises for doing it. But um, I can do that when I do my step ups as well. So if I am, let's start on the right foot. So if I'm on my right foot, uh, no, let's say I'm on my left foot, I'm stepping onto a box with my right foot. That's what I meant to say. Um, before I go, I, well, not even before I go, let's just say I step up and at the top, I can do two things. One, I can try to stay still or two, I can try to hike my opposite hip up. In this case, the left hip up. I've stepped with my right foot. I hike up my left hip. And what that does is it looks a lot like that third exercise we talked about where you're laying on your right side and you scrunch up your left side. Yeah, I'm scrunching it up now, but I'm standing. So it's more difficult to do effectively, correctly, um, but it will last a lot longer um, just because it's so much more complicated. So what I like to do with these people is after you've learned how to do all of this different positioning stuff, after you've demonstrated to me that you can hold that scrunched up position and you can breathe, which is sometimes really, really hard. Sometimes you need to take really shallow breaths to hold that position and that's okay. Eventually it will loosen up. But once you've gotten it and now you can take big breaths and all of those other places like that right side will expand when you breathe in. 
Well, then I can start to say, okay, now can I do it under more load? So I step up with my right leg and I hike my left hip up and I let my left shoulder sink down. So I'm not just listing over to the side. I let my left shoulder sink down. Now I might feel a killer right glute like I feel right now. I better stop before I start trembling on camera. Um, so the step up is really good for that. If I'm doing it with my right leg, I might just before I step, I might keep my left foot on the box. And I might just try to get that that scrunch on the left side just so I have the right position. It's a lot easier to do because you're not you're you know, you got two legs down, um, but it's the same idea, right? I'm trying to teach myself how to scrunch. Eventually, you want to make both sides look the same. You want to hike the right hip up when you step with your left. Um, but until you can demonstrate that you can do a symmetrical pull up, then I'm not as worried about it, right? Uh, the other exercise I want to talk about is a single leg Romanian deadlift, single leg, like stiff leg deadlift. It's the same idea. So as I get to the top, if I'm doing my right leg, if I get to the top, I come up to the top here and all I have to do is hike that left hip up, sink that left shoulder down. Um, and I'm sorry, I hit that mic and then I'm good. You know, it's same kind of scrunching motion. And with the, uh, with the left side, before I even go, I want to scrunch up that side. I want to, <laughs> we're not going to talk about gait. I'm, I'm kidding. So we're just going to try to scrunch up that side and then we're going to do the exercise and we're going to try to make sure that we don't lose it on the way up. We don't unscrunch that left side because it's going to be really easy to lose that. Um, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about on those single leg exercises. So that hopefully it makes sense to you why we're doing lower body exercises to fix an upper body pull up. Um, you know, it's the rib cage. We have to it, all of these things impact the rib cage. They impact the hip flexor. They help you get in the right position so that your shoulder doesn't have to do all that weird stuff just to get you up to the bar.